Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So, this week's spares idea is... The little green boats. <laughs> I'm not going to throw this one across the room, I promise. <laughs> so, I will be turning... Oof, well, I said I wasn't going to throw it across the room, but I just did. Right, yeah, so... I'm going to be turning one of the little green boats in and two. One I made earlier. Christmas decorations. What do you think? I think they look super, super cool. So, yeah, I thought, right, why not do some Christmas tree decorations? I haven't got no, um, I apologise, I've got no ribbon. Uh, I reckon my mum's got some wool or something I can nick. But for now, you just got to use your imagination that it's hanging, you know. Because I've got no wool. I've, I might have, um, I've got my, oh, hang on. I've got one bit of ribbon. This is the ribbon from Diamond Art Studio, so I could use that. Um... Yes, yeah, so that's the only that's the only ribbon I've got at the minute. It's uh, a Diamond Art Studio one. So uh, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. So we are going to be turning, showing you. I'm going to be showing you how to turn this into this. All right. So I don't. I haven't shown you the whole. Uh, um, I'm not going to show you the whole like process of thinging. All you got to do is sand down all over. If you, it's up to you if you make the um, grooves smooth or not. I didn't. I just went over it. You know, I just found that they helped me line up a little bit. But yeah, just sand it all over. And then use your old... Um, what do you call it? Uh, spray paints. I normally try and pick this up cheap in the old DIY shops or car boot sales. Because, you know... This stuff isn't cheap, it's like seven pounds a, a um, tin. So yeah, I normally try and pick this up really cheap in the old, you know, when I can, the car boot sales and everything. So yeah, I'll show you how I'm gonna turn this into this. Okay guys? Right, yo, so I, um, I've done two. These are two I did with spray paint. So all you do, you get your green tray. Grab this one from over here. I always have a couple of spare. And basically, just sand it down and then cover a spray paint. I happen to have spray paint. I tend to try and pick up cheaper car boot sales than that. So I always have like a few on hand. And these are the ones I've done. As you can see, it took two coats, and I'm pretty. They are pretty. They come out really nice. I did try doing one with normal paint, and it doesn't hold on too well, even though I did sand it down and that. But yeah, but I thought I'd give it a go. You know, you never know and everything. But what I'll do, I still decorate and everything. I'm not gonna go all crazy and everything with it. But yeah, I've just thought, you know, just try it. So yeah, using the old um, normal paint doesn't work at all. I didn't think it was going to really, 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 to be honest, you know. But I thought I can give it a go. I'm using the B7000 glue. This stuff is brilliant. And what I've been doing, because I don't need too much at a time. So I'm going to use a couple of, this one's just going to be a quicker... One, it won't be as detailed as them two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of dots of glue. This tube's almost out, but I do like to make sure I use everything as much as I possibly can. Often it just like so. 
And these were tweezers for these bits. It's going to be a more simple design. Okay, I'm going to need a bit more on this bit here. So I have a couple of these left over. So I thought I'd make the use of, make, you know, make the use out of them. And I've just got a couple of little, um, what do you call it? A couple of white A-bees bees out. And I thought I'll just put just a couple around. Just to fill in the gaps. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'll just do a quick simple little one you can do whatever you want obviously you're restricted to a little area so you can't go too mad but I just want to try and make it a bit like a snowstorm more little bits and then we can do the old border I'll just keep it quite simple I haven't actually put the um, hole in it where is me there it is so all I do is with my craft knife is just so adults do this only please don't do this if you're a child because it's rather silly but just Basically, drew yourself a hole. Like so. And it's got a nice hole in it now. So you can feed whatever you want through. Just move it off with a pair of tweezers. And we've got a hole in it anyway. Right, so for the edges, all I do is just more... I tend to try and use the shiny ones there, just, just to make it bling a bit more, really. Right, so let me stick these over there. I'm going to use green for the outsides on this one. I just try to use all different colours I can, really. Make sure that I wasn't recording in slow-mo or something. Because I have a habit of doing that. Oops. This is way too much. Well done, Joa. And... Normally start from the bottom, but I'm just going to start from this edge first. 
Obviously, I've gone a bit mad on the old B7000. Here we go. So I'll we start nearest to the old edge first. That one doesn't want to stick. I see it's really st stuck on. And then we just basically go around. You don't have to do one colour like I've done. You can do whatever colours you want, really. You can do a mixture of colours. You don't even have to do Christmassy colours. You do whatever you want. Obviously, I'm just doing Christmas colours this time. Because it's coming up to Christmas. It'll be here before we even know it, people. As we all know, it comes around so quick every year. And come on, who admits it? Who's still always shocked when they still see Christmas stuff in August? Every year, I'm like, we've got Christmas stuff already. But it comes in in August every year. The Christmas stuff. But we still can't get our heads around it. These are quite nice, quick little projects. Obviously, some will take longer than others. But I just thought I'd show you all in one little take and how to decorate them and everything. Just make sure you sand down that um, the trays first for the paint to actually stick. Otherwise, they might not always stick. More beef seven thousand. You'd be surprised how far a little tube of this goes. This stuff does go really far.
it does stay sticky for quite a while as well, which is nice too. The only problem about this B7000 glue is when you get them on your pen, it stops the wax from sticking. I've been using a different wax because I don't want to keep using my blue wax because um, I love that blue wax. But I thought I was getting through it really quick because obviously the glue kept getting on it and I had to keep changing it. So I was like, oh, do you know what? I'm going to use different wax and not use it because I don't want to you know, lose all my nice wax. And Andy, we fill my pen. Hoping today that my metal four place multi four multi place is going to arrive today. I've ordered one from AliExpress. They're not like the other ones I've ordered. These are actually like the same as these, but obviously just not as thick like them other ones. So I'm hoping that's going to work really well, and I won't have to keep buying multi places every couple of months because that's my problem i'm quite heavy-handed so i end up getting i have to order these every few months because i think i end up ordering like a 20 20 or 40 pack or whatever every couple of months keep me stocked up because i'm always you know, getting through the fours, you know, I've never had to order any others, but it's always the fours, I always get through the most, because they're my favourite one, everyone finds that they have a favourite, some people love the ones, just, you know, just doing one on their own, my mum prefers just doing one on a, one, one at a time, some people prefer two, some people prefer their threes, some people prefer fours from fives, etc., you know, everyone finds that they prefer a certain amount of meat. I love my fours, and I am having to, obviously, like, you know, I was ordering all the time from Asia QSD, you know, I had a few, but I ended up having, like, I'm, I'm, well, I've been trying all different sellers and everything, I was getting extremely low, so... Managed to find AliExpress sellers that, um, what do you call it? That just sell the four multi places. So, and I think they sell like, I think it's either 20 or 30 in a pack for about two pound odd so it's not that expensive really but then if the metal ones work then i'm laughing really these ones don't want to stick let's find that that you find that like when you just change your wax you haven't got the end just just like smooth enough or something and then it just sticks like the devil
pretty sure I can hear when my mum's getting a new bathroom. No bathroom. She's had a new bathroom put in not recently. Um, but last year, I think. Um, oh. Sorry about that. Uh, the um, parcel force are um, just not... Oh, I'm all out of breath now. Run down the stairs to get the door. Seriously, any form of exercise, I'm just... So if I was dancing and that, I'm fine. But running, rushing around, I can't run to save my life. Remember once my sister said, oh, two hands you doing running? I can only run to the end of the street and I live at the end of the street. <laughs> I'm terrible, I can't run to save my life, never been able to. Unless I'm on one of those running machines and I'm all right. Don't know why, but then it's just weird. But yeah, I just had a parcel arrive. All those cheap light up kits from AliExpress. I think my metal multi place is in there. So if it is, and when I go to close up this video, I had to order us one of the lights light sets for my mum as well. Because they were such a bargain. I mean, I, I went over and showed her that I ordered. She said, oh, can you order me a set? So I was like, okay then. So I ordered it and obviously I stocked up for um, me old giveaways. You know me, I like to stock up my giveaways when I see a bargain. It can't beat it when you get a bargain and... For me old giveaways. I love stocking up really like fun little crafts to giveaways. Obviously, I did tell you guys when I'm next plan of doing one. That will be next month. Around my birthday. So be around the end of November. I'm gonna do another one. And I thought that'd be nice. I just completely went screw with there. That's better. And we're almost done. And Yeah, it was weird that parcel came by parcel for normally all like basically everything I order from AliExpress always comes from um goes you know Royal Mail. But this time it comes from parcel for so I thought it was weird. Maybe because it's a larger parcel where I ordered like three lots of them like kits. So yeah, I thought it was a bit weird. And there we go. Don't they look cute? Well, actually in frame, yeah. So yeah, I think they look really cute. Really pleased with it. Just a little something. And obviously we've got the hole there for our Christmas tree decorations. So let's close this video out. So yeah, my little, obviously I haven't got the ribbon yet. I need to get some ribbon next time I go out of town. I completely, I just didn't even think about ribbon or nothing like that. Mum's has got wool and all that, so yeah, I do have stuff I can use. But yeah, we've got that like a little stocking, and the one we just did, and like a little Christmas tree. Nothing too fancy, you know, just quite simple. But I still think they look really pretty. So definitely a fun little thing to do, and like obviously get to use our green trays. <laughs> Because I do have, um, let's use the paint tray. This is what I use to, um, I've been using to, um, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? Spray paint. See, that's the, um, the ones I spray painted. As you can see, obviously I'm just using tweezers and I'll get paint all over my hands. But yeah, definitely a lot more like, works a lot better than the old paint so yeah 
definitely say spray paint definitely works well for that so i'll quickly thought i'll show you what i just got in the post um so i've got me four multi-placer so i haven't used it yet or nothing but very happy to get it because as we know you know as i said earlier i get through a lot of these so yeah ordered i don't need any now because of the advent calendar but i did need some but these ones are a lot stronger than the ones we got in the app uh, that end in canada um bags are 200 i ordered a thousand or is it 100 one two three one two three four five yeah bags of 100 six seven eight nine ten bags of 100 i ordered a thousand so yeah i must be on the radar now with the um local police ordering thousands because <laughs> we all know what these little baggies are usually not used for not like not for diamond painting for, like for most of us and yeah and also i only received two lots of them i don't know where the other third lot is because i ordered two lots for myself obviously for giveaways and that and then i ordered one lot for my mum but only two lots arrived but it said on the tracking that we'll be coming with uh this this lot you know with this parcel from parcel for so some it's, um, it's a bit weird so i sent the message the seller a message to say i ordered them but they haven't arrived so basically yeah, i ordered my, my mum i ordered five um one lot for her basically they come in one lot like that for a fiver so that's a blinking good deal it was like six pound with me that's why i said keep an eye on aliexpress because they will come up so yeah so we got that's the original one I did. I'll show you the inside the boxes anyway. And then, obviously I won't get the light kits and all that. Just show you what they look like. Because I know that you can't always tell really by the pictures. Especially on Ali at first, they're so tiny, you can't quite tell what they are. So I thought if I get some and show you guys. So, we got some bells. Little sleigh. Not like the biggest of um, dime paint kits, but obviously they can only fit a little bit on that little surface. So obviously these fold up into a little star. So obviously you've seen the first one anyway, so I don't need to show you that one. And then this one. is we got ah there we go a santa a sleigh and a snowman like i said these were a good but a real bargain you know really was it was like yeah you got i got to get myself them because five are for five lots it, it, you just couldn't go wrong to be honest obviously it worked out six pounds for shipping and then we got a santa a snowman and a penguin I also like if you've got these and you don't have sellotape, get yourself some sellotape because the little bits of um, plastic stickers you get to help keep them together doesn't really work that well. So make sure you get yourself some sticker, uh, some sellotape. Oh, that's a pretty one. And we got a Christmas tree, a Santa, and a gingerbread house. Oh, hang on. oh, we've got two stuck together here. See if I ah, look, they actually put two in there. 
We've got two, four. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's they put two, like, because they stuck together. Obviously, when they put them in the boxes, they um, accidentally put a second, second one of that one in. You know me, I get three in each. So, yeah, and so that was the I got today. Just, you know, mainly I just, I hope the, um, and obviously I've got these for giveaways because I've already, um, order myself these for fan sales but obviously these down to one pound thirty for each um in the sale so well, that's another good little thing and i know that people like even if these don't all get given away before christmas i know i can send these out to somebody in, in may and they'd still be thrilled with them you know that they won't be like annoyed that they are sent them a christmas item people will be thrilled to still get them at any time of year so yeah i thought stock up i know that i'm that you guys have got some nice little goodies there to come up at some point so yeah and obviously mum's ones i'll give them one to hers and i hope that the other ones arrive but it's just really weird really really weird that they didn't come with that lot even though the tracking number said it was combined with i don't know it was weird so hopefully the seller hasn't made a mistake it just said two lots by mistake and not three i hope i hope if if they have made a mistake they realize they made a mistake and they send them out because they could do a stock take and everything see how many they're meant to have in stock and everything so they could go ahead and do a stock take and see that they've got five more than what they should have so Fingers crossed there's a good seller and not a rubbish seller that just will just mess me around. Fingers crossed, please. I don't want to open up this dispute. I've had really, um, I have to say, though, up to recently, I've been so lucky with AliExpress. And it was just been very recently, I've been really unlucky. And I don't know, it's just weird, you know. I've always said, I've always, you know, I could always at one point count on one hand issues I've had and recently uh, it's been pretty bad. Last time I had some not like um, they mistakenly sent out not enough um, was well, when I ordered my favour wedding favour boxes I ordered these butterfly wedding bo favour boxes and they only sent out 50 and not 100 because there was two options ordering 50 or 100 so i ordered the 100 but they only sent 50 but i let them know and they instantly sell them out so it depends on the seller really but yeah so that is it i've just like, ruffled on for nine minutes but yeah i thought i'd show you what i got today um but i obviously did do the whole massive unboxing video so but yeah so that is it for today's video well, spares ideas, but with a little tiny little bit of an unboxing on there as well. Yeah, it's not a massive video for you guys, but I thought, you know, sometimes it's nice just to keep it a little bit simple. And these, you know, are pretty fun to make, you know. You know, you know. Why do I keep saying, you know? I don't know. But yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I think actually, like, that one is my favourite. It's very simple. You know, I might have to... I think I have got some Christmas cards in there, which I still need to make, which I did get these original ones from. So I might have to make another one of them. And obviously a little stocking. It's quite hard. To, you could go over the grooves and that. So you don't have to stick to the grooves on the green tray. I reckon if you sanded it down enough, you could get rid of the lines. And obviously we've got our little Christmas tree. Which I still think looks really cute. So, but yeah, really, really pleased with it. So, yeah, let me know down below in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, that's the word. Let me know down below in the old comments of what you think of this spares idea. I, I've enjoyed it. I really did. You know, it, I have done this type of idea before when I did my um, fridge magnet with my wedding photo in. Uh, but I thought, do you know what? I will... Um, do the old Christmas decorations. You could just instead of um, doing using these drills there, you could just put a picture of a Christmas tree or whatever instead. But I wanted to actually use some of my spares, a few more of my spares, you know, for it. Make it a proper spares project instead of half spares project. 
so yeah really really pleased how they come out so that is it for this video thank you ever so much for watching and please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe and i shall see you on the next video bye everyone